Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shanuga Priya, your An Academy Educator for Biochemistry. And uh, today we have with us uh, Dr. Rohit, who has scored an excellent rank of 63 and a score of 680 or 720. And uh, here he is with us to share his uh, happiness as well as to share uh, the secret ingredient for his success. Okay, because uh, when you get to hear it from a topper, uh, the various strategies that the person has followed so far for him to reach this pinnacle of success, then you will be able to follow that and you can you'll be able to replicate it, right? So that's the purpose of this interview. So uh, hi, Dr. Rohit, uh, how do you feel now? Let's start with uh, discussing about that. Hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm very much excited after getting to know that I secured a rank of 63. And, uh, and even my parents were very much excited and uh, very happy. Uh, Okay, so did you expect this rank, uh, Rohit? Yes, ma'am. Uh, after giving the interest and all, I thought that uh, my rank would be around 500 or something. And after okay. giving neat exam, uh, the actual exam, then I came to know that like it's okay. The exam was not so not so tough, and uh, I could uh, get a rank of 200 or so. And, okay. Uh, after saying it at uh, 63, I was very happy. It's a sweet surprise for you. That's nice. Yes, That's nice. And um, so what do you plan on doing? Having scored such a good rank and a good mark, now uh, you have all the choices with you, right? So what do you yes, plan on What do you plan on pursuing? I, huh? What do you plan on pursuing? Ma'am, uh, I actually wanted to do the, uh, direct neurology DM from Nimham. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I gave insert for that, uh, to the last insert for that, and I got a rank of 514. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I could not get a seat uh, there. Then I will give one more attempt of insert and uh, I'll try if I could get, get, get to. That's uh, nice. As far as need is concerned, I'll keep it as a backup. Okay. Yes. Okay. Having rank 63 as a backup <laughs> is really good to hear. <laughs> it's really good to hear. When, uh, when it's like a dream for most of uh, the students, you're saying 63 is my backup. That speaks so much of uh, so much about your confidence. Great, and um, so uh, when did you choose or when did you decide that it's going to be neurology? Is there any a story behind it uh, or a reason behind it? Like uh, there's no no nothing. It's not like a story, ma'am. But uh, I felt after, after doing uh, for clinical postings and all, I felt that surgery is not our uh, field of interest, and uh, uh, I wanted to be a medical person and. Uh, mm. uh, like uh, uh, usually the six year courses are uh, in neurology and uh, infectious diseases in some areas in mm. Delhi, I think. So, mm. uh, uh, but uh, I thought why to give one more exam if I am interested in neurology from first, like uh, yeah. DM entrance, and it could be better. And also, Nimhans is a very prestigious institute for neuro neurosciences. Yes, uh, that's why I chose Nimhans. Okay, so when so can I know when you decided this, uh, Doctor Rohit? So I'm I'm probing more yeah. into it because I've always always been telling students that you should uh, uh, you should understand your strengths and you should start working on it uh, from the very beginning. So I would like to know when did you find that medicine is your strength uh, and it's not surgery? Ma'am, uh, it all happened uh, after after starting of our postings only clinical rotation, and mm. uh, in that only I have decided that. Uh, I should take, I should pursue my uh, uh, this degree in medicine. And also, yes. uh, I feel surgical branches are a bit of uh, 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 kind of like uh, they are more of a uh, uh, what to say uh, factual things. Factual things. And uh, okay. me medical, medical branch is a conceptual thing and uh, making diagnosis in medicine is uh, far uh, tougher I, than uh, yeah can i interpret this way you think yeah. your analytical skills are good and so yeah. you think medicine side that would be the right choice for you to shine yes, am i right okay yes, that's nice so uh so lesson number one which <clears throat> dr rohit would like to convey here is you should know your strength and you should start playing around it. Yes, yeah, so you should make the right choice at the right time. It should, so the rank should not be the uh, one which helps you in making the choice. It should be you who make the choice and the choice should be based on your strength. Okay, so that's a good the good learning for all of us, uh, Dr. Rohit. And then, um, so can I know a bit about you? Uh, where are you from and um, when did you join MBBS and uh, 
this is your which uh, so how many times have you attempted me please i'm i'm basically from vijayawada andhra pradesh uh, i did my mbbs from uh, aims bhopal uh, mm. i was i was a 2017 batch student and i uh, recently completed my internship in december 2022 and uh, this is my first attempt of neat good i got great for the first attempt rank 63 is uh, truly a feat truly an achievement great so can i know when did you start preparing uh, dr rohit uh, i started my preparation from third year onwards like uh, dedicated to uh, co uh, coaching for neat and nsat i started it uh, during my third year and in first year second year i mostly uh, uh, studied for building up of concepts and all but uh, later later on i understood that uh, 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 we cannot remember much what we read from textbooks and all, and then but through coaching institutes and all, I developed my uh, skills too. The... Okay, and can I know how an academy helped you in this preparation? When did you join uh, an academy, and how did it help you? I joined an academy uh, in November of twenty twenty one, and uh, I have been an academy student since one and a half year uh, almost. and i did the preclinical and paraclinical subjects mostly from an academy only and mm. uh, a few of uh, clinicals also like anesthesia and uh, psm and mm. the uh, faculty were very very nice and they i feel that they dedicate their most precious time in making uh, like making things good for uh, students and all and also uh, i also think how will they manage everything uh, like they take <laughs> more more uh, pre sessions uh, more more batches also Yeah. yeah yeah an academy keeps us busy and keeps you all uh, well learned we are yes, always on the platform helping you helping you all in uh, all the ways possible yeah yes, um so um so apart from this can i know how did you manage uh, learning during your internship internship by itself must have been hectic for you so how did yes, you manage both internship and uh, me pg preparation uh um, um anyway uh, after coming from hostel uh, hospital i to be very ty tiresome for me also I, i used to take a nap for an hour or two and then i'll start my uh, start preparation and mm. uh, i did most of, like uh, and also whenever i get at uh, leisure time during my posting uh, hospital uh, postings also i used mm. to uh, write some grant tests or uh, review some grant tests or to do mini tests or subject wise tests and Mm hmm. So prepare for yes, prepare sir. and also some some YouTube sessions. Uh, so you used to watch YouTube sessions. Yeah. Great. You go. You go ahead. This this should be your session, uh, Doctor Rohit. I should not be interrupting you more. Yeah. You please go ahead. Let me just listen to what you were doing during during your internship. Yeah. Uh, that's it, ma'am. Like uh, uh, how many whenever time I... permits or whenever. how many hours were you able to spend on an average during internship because whenever i meet students they ask how do i manage this ma'am how do i manage during internship for any pg preparation so if they hear uh, it they be happy uh, initially i spent uh, around 4 uh, to 5 hours per day like most of the days of a uh, week and then i would take a break in on weekends and uh, later uh, when when it's when it's about to complete my uh, i was in uh, surgery posting and it was my initial time and i mm. i started up uh, a different approach like after after my posting i used to take a nap and then i would study the whole night like till 4 o'clock or something and uh, <laughs> yes just sleep and uh, this uh, i after after doing this i got a rank of 514 in initial and i thought that i should i should have used this strategy from first onwards <laughs> uh, but it is, uh, it is very late it was very late for me okay okay nice okay L uh, learning till 4 o'clock that shows uh, how dedicated you are and uh, so it's all about hard work and smart work right dr rohit yes sir yeah nice um and uh, you were saying about grant test right so grant test yes, how many grant tests have you uh, given so far uh, and when did you start giving grant test i started giving grant test from uh, my internship onwards and uh, most uh, on an average i gave about uh, uh, 25 or, or so both initial and uh, neat grant tests and mm. uh, as far as grant tests are concerned i i gave them uh, initially i thought that uh, rank is a factor that uh, what what will what should be considered in grant tests but later on mm. i i came to know that it's not the rank but we need to 
see how we are uh, we are changing our performance how, how we are improving from one grand test to another and mm-hmm. uh, and also how can we improve some silly mistakes and all like i uh, i so the re- even in recent grand test i did many uh, mistakes with not seeing the uh, nots and the excepts uh, mm-hmm. like th- those questions are. like mm-hmm. if i see a diagram and if some statements are given g- below i would not see mm. except and i will see the first option and i will mark uh, as it is the correct answer i will mark that and after mm. that uh, even i know even i know this question why why did i mark wrong i'll I, i'll check and then uh. i'll find that uh, this this is the thing uh, except except has to be seen in that yeah reviewing grantes will help you understand the pattern of mistake which you make so that yes. you can avoid that during your final exam that's nice and you were saying something about reviewing grantes how do you yes. how did you review your grantes uh i'm uh, uh i would uh, like uh, the the questions that i mark are correct i used to review very very quickly and mm. then uh, if if i mark it by guess or something then i would take some time to review that and the wrong questions i would uh, i would i would take some time for reviewing the, uh, the wrong question like mm. uh, and i'll i'll make sure that uh, if i did a wrong based on a, like these things except and not then i would uh, t- uh, take measures for, for not avoiding them the next thing that and uh, if it is a truly a conceptual error or i didn't uh, study it properly then i would uh, study that topic uh, again got it got it so reviewing grant test and then uh how has your performance been in grant test has it always been great or have you ever experienced a dip in your performance or has uh, it always been a dip how how what's your experience it was mostly a plateau ma'am and uh, uh, not not so many dips also and not not great ranks also like, mm. Uh, mm. it was it was only plateau but was about 150 to 155 questions i would uh, make correct in grant test and uh, okay nice so it has always been a consistent result that you have been observing right. from the beginning right so uh, so till now based on my interview with you uh, dr rohit so my um, my understanding is uh, you cannot uh, cram everything uh, during the neat pg preparation phase right it should be a consistent right. effort that you take from the first year and that is why uh, you have been able to you have been able to crack it uh, during your internship in spite of the fact that you had a hectic uh, schedule so you have started preparing from the third year and from the third year i've been uh, very serious about it that's nice yes, and uh, what kind of a person are you as far as notes taking is concerned do you write notes uh, yes. i i usually write my uh, notes on my own and i would prefer to doing uh, it it so because uh, i like uh, reading in my own handwriting mm. and uh, uh, i i feel that i can review uh, review or revise it faster if it is in my own handwriting Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. i took uh, i took clinical notes from uh, another platform but uh, paraclinical and preclinical are from academy and academy mm. okay okay nice and um, so apart from notes taking and apart from grant apart from grant test if i ask you for a, a secret code yeah secret code that can crack me pg preparation do you have anything in mind just uh, just like a I'm flash mad. something come into your mind <laughs> is there uh, any secret you can think of anything it's yes, not not one thing ma'am but uh, there are many factors like uh, uh, i uh, but the clinical knowledge the pre- previous year question revision the grant is taking question bank solving there are many things ma'am not on, not only a single thing yeah you cannot have one code for everything i understand yes. so it should be a holistic approach that you need to take as far as neat pg yes. preparation concerned given yes. the fact that it's one of the toughest exams uh, in india right yes, so i get it i totally get it uh, and what kind of a student are you are you into factual learning are you into a conceptual learning or do you take it in stages i first learn facts and then i understand concepts or first i understand concepts and then i learn facts so uh, what kind of a student are you that way uh when i started my mbbs i used to be a conceptual guy only like uh, just now we completed our chemistry physics uh, especially to where we mm. all learn the very long terms concepts and all then mm. after the, after coming there i understood that it's a medical uh, mbbs and all is not a not conceptual thing it is a mixture of concepts and as well as uh, facts 
and then uh, as far as facts are concerned uh, i i usually mem- memorize those uh, now and then like uh, i i do more uh, question banks to uh, recall them again and again mm. yeah and the uh, concepts a uh, concept a uh, concepts are concerned uh, uh, i would thank many uh, educators who made me build, build those concepts mm okay you can mention a few names uh, do you uh, do you have anybody in mind Okay. first especially is you ma'am biochemistry <laughs> and uh, uh, I, uh, for, uh first of all i thought that biochemistry is all about cramming cycles and all uh, i do i like i know sir, 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 some clinical clinical things are related to biochemistry but i'm uh, we are not much uh, in the first year and all we are not much into them yeah. into the clinical disorders and we don't even know what hepatomegaly and pneumomegaly then when we read galactosemia <laughs> and, uh, after, and after learning pediatrics medicine and surgery i came to learn that my biochemistry like so pre clinical and para clinical subjects also play, uh, play a major role in understanding those subjects and mm-hmm. uh, 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 one is you ma'am to build a concept then mm-hmm. uh, neha ma'am for psm and mm-hmm. uh, 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 preeti ma'am for mm-hmm. patho and micro nikita ma'am for radio I mm. I love these teachers very much. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, so if I would, if I am asking you to give uh, a suggestion or a recommendation for all those are writing, uh, those are about to write their exam in future, what would that be? Uh, ma'am, uh, like uh, uh, not to ignore or not to bunk the clinical postings is first is my first uh, advice. Because uh, the pat, uh, as as we can see, the pattern of questions is being uh, changed from. Uh, uh factual questions to clinical questions and factual questions i think are more based on the prospect to st- uh, reading what we do like if we if we study anything like uh, or suppose myocardial infarction uh, mm-hmm. we study it from myocardial infarction the, the uh, demographic details it is more common in male female and what then the clinical features then the lab lab diagnosis and then the treatment but the uh, how, how clinical questions are based uh, are framed is the they will ask in a retrospective manner like first they will ask the clinical features and the, those clinical features may have many uh, differential diagnoses and also right. like uh, uh, as a uh, as a repeat question uh, gotcha's disease is there uh, every uh, it is a Uh, every time the crumpled tissue paper the appearance is being asked and uh, the thing is uh, that we will see in a patient uh, who comes with the symptoms like the investigation will be there and the clinical findings will be there then we have to go to go to a diagnosis but w- mm-hmm. what we learn and what we do when we are studying is we read gotcha's disease and it is called the beta glucose erythrocyte defect this will accumulate and these, these are the clinical features this is the lab finding and this mm-hmm. is the uh, thing i, I uh, yeah. want to give so- an advice very good to summarize uh, everything has to be holistic you should start preparing very early on you should uh, you should uh, make a decision on uh, which course you would like to do based on your strength so all these are valid uh, i won't say just valid all these are strong points that uh, i want every student to get uh, uh, to get into their minds so that they can work on it from the beginning and uh, what you rightly said is uh, about the grant test right so writing as many grant tests as possible reviewing the grant test and uh, and i like the way you said it's not about assessing your performance it is an assessment that is done for a better performance so it's not an assessment of your performance it's an assessment for a better performance for grant test that's really a good way of putting it and then you also said about notes taking and then about conceptual learning but conceptual learning alone is not going to help you right so as you said that you have to memorize few facts and then you have to understand concepts so everything has to be done in a holistic manner and uh, clinics right so do not follow clinics so i have seen many students saying i have to watch these videos i have so many videos to watch i have so many tests to attend i'm going to bunk the clinics so don't do that uh, because it's uh, we have many clinical case based mcqs mm-hmm. so um, i that's an uh, i have spent a, a good 15 minutes uh, with you dr rohit and i would say it's a pleasant time it has been a pleasant time for me with you and congratulations again and my best wishes for you to get uh, dm neuro in nimhans we will you. meet you again with another success story of you yeah yes ma'am definitely Best wishes for INACT. Thank you. Thank you.